Hello, and welcome back to more VGM and Dead Space, everybody. Hello. This is the episode where Discord doxes us. I mean, what? <laughs> We're getting doxed by Discord. I mean, would you put it past them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's Discord after all. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Still far better than its competition, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Medical. Just kind of the only reason we use it. <laughs> it's the best option we have. And until we, like, either someone actually get a house to together something. or, like, move closer and, and get, like, a, an office or something that we can do all this in. Would be, it would be convenient better. to be able to, like, live together and have, like, a dedicated room in the house to, like, do this stuff. That would be fun. But gosh, houses are expensive. Yeah. We can always, <laughs> get, like, a, we can always get, like, a streamer house. It's just a whole bunch of streamers living in one house. I would want to do, like, people we know. Taco, Taco's very much a... Gotta know. Oh gosh, the lanterns on the floor. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> I think there was something behind you, but I'm not sure. Nope, never mind. Thought I saw a claw come out from from, from the back of the screen, you know. I it must have been like a piece of metal or something. Probably was. Doop the whoop. I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> I mean, you can do that. You have a laser fire. Kinda. Match found for Brent Harris, mining contractor, Aegis Seven, registered physician, Dr. Charles Mercer. Warning: severe DNA abnormalities found. Rig tracking is available to trace possible contagion. Authorize. Harris, what did Mercer do to you? Authorize. Sinking logs and points of interest to rig locator. Thank you for your commitment to public health. Well, you know, considering the situation, I think public health might be very, very important. <laughs> Harris is ICU. Bed. Activate the launch tubes. Do, do, do. Find Harris's ICU bed. Use the sh use the, the little tiny elevator. Do it. Without any safety rails. <laughs> That's not OSHA compliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little lift. It's fine. Still not OSHA compliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is space. OSHA doesn't exist in space. Space OSHA will come for you. <laughs> space OSHA. <laughs> it's OSHA, but in space. <laughs> you know what? I kind of want a game to do that. Just make space OSHA a thing. <laughs> Space OSHA! We're coming to get you! Space OSHA! Wanna make sure you comply with like the, the rules! Main part of the game. It doesn't even have to be a main part of a game, but like, freaking like... You can have someone complain in like a small, like, diary or whatever, and be like, Fucking OSHA inspect- Someone called fucking OSHA, now we have to be ready for a fucking OSHA inspection in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Space OSHA! GDI, man! GDI! <laughs> Look, I, I, I agree. Sometimes, he, like, OSHA sometimes is pretty useful, especially for, like, just job safety in general. But, like, sometimes there's a, like... Look, Taco does work 
does work the labor industry. Taco knows sometimes to get things done, you kind of have to do some uh, <laughs> not so compliant things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes it just gotta happen. <laughs> well. See these? These are testicles. <laughs> I don't know where my brain was going there. Don't look up for me. Do I got a bat in the cave? <laughs> bat in the cave. <laughs> That's way funnier than what I came up with. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bear cub left cave. Ah uh, yes, a little bugger was giving me a. S uh, uh, a yeah, it's, it's harder to breathe. <laughs> I can feel it. It was giving me a whistle <laughs> during the entire seminar. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is important medical shit that's going on in Side Story, but god damn it. It's so funny. <laughs> Yay, manipulation! You know, you know... Friggin' yay manipulation! I'm pretty sure this is against uh, the Hippocratic Oath. Uh, pretty much against. Who cares about the Hippocratic every... Oath when you're uh, doing things in the name of God? Oh, oh, I, I don't know if I can watch this. Mm, mm. This man is, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure half this, the stuff this guy's been doing is completely against every, like, doctor code and law <laughs> that I can think of. He didn't of. take the Hippocratic Oath. He took the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> you know what? Fair. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Talking to the marker now. All right. Well, this, this guy is batshit crazy. Oh, yeah. He's imagining things. <laughs> That's kind of what happens with the marker. Yeah, that seems about... seems legit. Seems legit. That's like one of the biggest things about the marker is just psychosis. Psychosis. Copium in extreme amounts. <laughs> Even worse. Probably. It's like a cope cage, man. <laughs> Get that copium. Anyway. What's in here? More religious shit? Yeah, I saw this body moving right below you. I saw it moving and I was like, oh no. Just flopping around. Nope, nope, I ain't doing with it. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> There's a save point. Also, what the frick? Oh, it's the mannequin. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, mannequin in the weird. window. It doesn't really look like a mannequin when you first uh, come in, though. It just looks like a person standing there. It's like, oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No, oh, oh wait, never mind. Just, just, a, just, just a dummy. Me. I'm the dummy. For those who can... <laughs> I'm the dummy. I'm the dummy. <laughs> hey, I, 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 was, I forgot to do side stuff, so I had to run back and do that real quick. Now everything's in the mining deck. There's two different, there's the main objective, then there's two side objectives in the mining deck to deal with right now. Yep. Mining deck. Mining deck. I love that you're doing all these side quests too. <laughs> <laughs> they're not really long. They're, it's true. a lot of the time, true. they're uh, Unlike on most the way. MMO, MMORPGs, you know, where the side quest takes freaking five ever for some reason <laughs> yeah it, you go on a side quest it takes like an hour like 
I just want loot. I just want loot. Please just give me the loot, and then you do the main story, and it's like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mission for the main story is literally five minutes, and the freaking side story is freaking tw like an hour, and you're just like. Did you do you know how Why? to make a game? Do you know do you know how to make a game? <laughs> yeah, I've definitely run into that several times playing like RPGs. Yeah, that, that is it's especially an RPG MMOs for sure. MMO RPGs are excellent at doing that for oh, yeah. some reason. I, I've and run I into several in Lost Stark. We're going to the side thing, and it's like hours later. It's like holy shit. <laughs> Can this just be done, please? <laughs> yeah, a lot of it's just travel. Like, in Lost Ark, there's a lot of, like, sailing to different islands and continents. And it just, it eats so much time. Yep. Especially since you can't yeah. fast travel to every place. You can only fast travel to, like, certain places. And to make it even worse, you can only tra fast travel to uh, some certain places from some other certain places. Oh my gosh, that'd be so annoying. <laughs> this room should be open now. Ah, Lost Ark, you mean travel simulator? <laughs> yeah, it's open now. Yay! I like things being open. I don't think I can use this door. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think it. I think it might be useful. Maybe. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Security request retrieved. <clears throat> Security. We got some freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. Doctor Mercer sent me for Osmium. To complete his work. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent you. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. God? So, you can put that osmium down, or I can break your arms first. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They steal my power nodes. Leave me to dig with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! But when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Yay, crazy. Do you want to hear? Warning. Untrained personnel may not use the suit kiosk. No, no, stop, please. I said please when they shut me in. Screamed it too. I promise I won't laugh like they did. Warning. Suit kiosk is obstructed. Serious injury may occur. Oh god! Help me! Incident report filed to bridge by Dr. Nicole Brennan. See related rig activity. Well, Nicole did something there. Ooh. That might be important. But yeah. A dude threw him in the. Uh door into the suit kiosk and the suit kiosk because he wasn't like prepared for a suit change and wasn't authorized just kind of tore him apart well that's rude <laughs> <laughs> very rude that's like that's almost war crime crime level or yeah that's basically war crime right there <laughs> pretty much Except there's only one problem, you're not at war. Oh, dude, you're still alive! Hey! Apparently. Need help, buddy? You need I a hand? You, don't have an arm. you need a hand there? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, a leg? Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he's not gonna get a leg up in life. Wow, Dragon, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> he literally died before, right in front of us. <laughs> 
poor dude. You should probably smash his skull into it. Doesn't... Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, it don't matter. They fly now. Protect your dude. Please, no. How about no? <laughs> Infect or no infecting. Lol. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's unrelated. Unrelated thing I just looked saw. At that movie came. Okay. Secured the subject perimeter, IEDs, plasma cutters, trip wires, survey charges, three injured, and Lingen, Lingen, Lingen? is out of action. Her medications run out. The rest of the supplies are holding so far, ammo, food, water, and thruster fuel. Even without the staff for the SOS beacon. Entry two, wired external access. All the mining bays are online now. Lingen unconscious, nothing we can do. Lingen sounds like, I think Lingen might be diabetic. Oh no. Possibly. They broke through the floor Poor vent. Girl. One of those flying fucks went right for Lingen's body. And they were fighting six and, and then we were fighting six instead of five. Cut them up and then shipped it all down to the smelters for a quick cremation. Can't take any risks. Oh, poor Lingen. Entry four. Survey charge went off too soon. Lost Sh Schlegel? Schlegel? Bike and Zittle? What are these names? What are these <laughs> names? Their last names. That's why. Their last no. names. And still, what are these names? <laughs> Never I mean, seen I mean, the inside I mean, of my head before. Took them up to the smelter to be cremated. Then supply inventory. Can't sleep. Yeah, when you see it, when it's your first time seeing the inside of someone's head, um, I imagine you wouldn't be able to sleep for a while either. <laughs> uh, yeah. Entry five. Too dangerous here. And took some gear to hole up somewhere safer. McSweeney followed me, yelling about being selfish. Me? He was the one leading those things right to me. Update. Fixed McSweeney. Visited Smelter. Can't sleep. Well, yeah, when you... <laughs> he, he fixed McSweeney. He fixed him. Mm -hmm. Entry six, can't sleep, cold. You can hear the others yelling. They're going to get me killed. Lingen's right. I need peace and quiet. And the smelters need fuel. Well, this guy's gone crazy. When? Yeah, not in the I imagine he, way, either. I imagine he's uh, a nice, fine ash at this point. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Or one of the uh, infected that may or may not be dead. No. <laughs> I'd imagine. I'd, I'd just imagine. Alright, hopefully he made it to the smelter. We well, okay. can only hope because you know the smelters need fuel. They always need fuel. They're always hungry. <laughs> They're always <laughs> Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. Look, Taco likes flamethrowers. Especially I do too. <laughs> flamethrowers are cool. Flamethrowers are pretty cool. Fire. I wish I wish you actually had like the World War II ones though, because like freaking by the end of World War II we had like the range of a flamethrower is ridiculous. Level three security clearance. Especially by way of It's a lot war. further than you would think they are. No, especially because like we improved the range by using napalm. We invented napalm at the end of World War II, <laughs> and we were using it to fuel flamethrowers. Yeah, but so, yeah, those things had some serious range. <laughs> not to mention napalm also sucks because it sticks. <laughs> Oh, it absolutely sticks. Yeah, normal so, flamethrower uh, just burns. A napalm flamethrower sticks and you can't get it off. <laughs> like, yeah. Something to be said though, flamethrowers originally were used as a tool for clearing bunkers. 
Uh, these days we have better tools for for that. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Grenades. <laughs> like grenades. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they were originally we were originally we originally used flamethrowers for clearing bunkers, which is why it's like yeah, the range was kind of important. Um, <laughs> Dallas. He's on the processing stuff deck. I've got rig And of course we all know Napalm from freaking uh the Vietnam War. Uh <laughs> I love the smell of Napalm in the morning. Malfunctions. Traps. The miner's way of holding the line. Shit. Okay. I'll unlock the subdecks. Just make sure that beacon's not wired to anything. You got it. You got it, girl. It's very helpful. I must admit. Find admin rig. Can we just talk about how Goodbye. Isaac here is single handedly repairing the entire ship? Basically. Yeah, because he's Isaac <laughs> fucking Clark. We've been over this. Dude he's a, a, badass. a badass. He's an absolute badass. Absolutely. Repairing the entire ship by himself. No help, except for like the one chick giving him authorization to actually get to access the things yeah. that he needs. <laughs> if it wasn't for her, uh, he would figure out how to get into places himself. If he couldn't get the authorization, would be, uh, he would just hack his way in. He'd either hack his way in or like... It's like, it depends on what he's trying to get into. Like, if he's trying to get freaking, uh, trying to get to into, like, say, like, maintenance or whatever, he'd, he'd, he'd find a way. Trust me, he'd find a way, whether whether it is uh, making his own holes or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... You... I think activating this... Bench. No? No? No notes. Okay. Okay. No no. There was a no deal, you know. <laughs> oh, nope, I was right! I was right! Ah. I thought it popped out after I activated the bench. Traps ahead. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick that up. Wait. I did pick that up. What the fuck? Yeah, you did. You did read it. Why was it there again? What the hell? That's not supposed to happen. Look, we're, we're ran into issues with this game already. Um, <laughs> just said, we've had some lovely issues with this game already. Say my game. <laughs> Save my game! Snapshot. Snapshot of this fucking moment. <laughs> I'm just imagining freaking. <laughs> it's a freaking uh. You, you remember? You remember the uh? <laughs> One Waker episode. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> With the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Pick of a lifetime. Pick of a lifetime. <laughs> I'm just imagining Isaac in this situa similar situation. He's just like, he's just standing there in front of the camera, and the camera snaps the station behind him. It's just like an entire horde. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a photo mode? No, no, there's not, but freaking, that'd be so funny if there was. Gotta take that selfie, man. That selfie's important. When are you ever gonna take the, get those kind of selfies again, man? <laughs> no one's gonna believe you. Selfie or it didn't happen. <laughs> I love that you backed them up with the saw blade. <laughs> that knockback, baby. That saw blade knockback. Oh, he's walking, trying to walk back at the same time. It's like, okay. Security cat. 
Oh, uh, excuse hey, me. Hey, Liz, it's Jacob. Um, I couldn't reach you. If you find this, I'm off deck, but I'll be right back. I got a call from another survivor. He sounded terrified. I'm gonna lock up the SOS beacon and go and get him. Best launch window is not for a while, anyway, and he sounds like he's worth the risk. He's a doctor, uh, Mercer, I think. Oh no. <laughs> About time. Hey, break. you're going to take a force gun. I love you. Please be careful down here. Rip, dude. Rip, dude. <laughs> it's probably the guy that actually that the dead body you found with the force gun. I was, I was in Hydropon. Oh, okay, never mind. So, yeah. That would have been that would have been great environmental storytelling if they had done that. Oh, that would have been so good. Yeah, I don't know that we ever find Jacob or his body. Know the breathing after freaking. <laughs> Come here, buddy. What Taco was doing last night. <laughs> oh my god! For, for context, Taco was playing uh, Elder Henry last night. Dear Lord. At least my breathing was sus. Well, shut up! <laughs> I, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you were very sus. I was not. I promise. I made a clip that proved otherwise. It 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 sounded like something else was going on. I promise it wasn't sus. I promise. I can talk with pride. Your promise means nothing. <laughs> Security you are lying. I'm not lying. I captured Security proof otherwise. Lying. The noises were sus. I know how to use it. The noises were not. I promise. It sounded like you were busting a fat nut. Hey, how does that not <laughs> sus? Busting a fat nut. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. You're like, ah, 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 ah. Uh, like, it, how is that not sus? Where the fuck is security? I don't know where security is. I don't know where the fuck security is either. But they need to be called like five times over. <laughs> they should have been here yesterday. <laughs> Contact energy, let's go. I don't know what I just picked up. Me neither. It was something. Pick up this power node though. It will. You like power nodes. Power nodes are nice. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. As freaky that Necromorph's eyes are still glowing. That is a little freaky. You're just, very just, clearly just, decapitated. Clearly. <laughs> clearly headless. Nearly headless. What makes you nearly headless? <laughs> <laughs> how can how can you be nearly headless like this? <laughs> Tips his head like a like bowler cap, <laughs> my lady. Are you gonna crash again, game? Yes. Okay. 
It crashed. <laughs> no! Well. Well, knowing because I've looked at the timer, we have about 20 seconds left of timer, so, uh... <laughs> I guess we could end the episode early. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess so. I don't know what the deal is tonight, but uh, sorry, everyone. I had an episode before this because it crashed, and now it crashed again. I don't. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yep. Next time on VGM, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.